Howdy folks, this is Jackers, back again with another episode of our Subnautica Below Zero Early Access Let's Play, this time with episode Lucky 13, and we are here at what I'm calling Rack 3, which is the forward half, I believe, of Rack 1. So, when last we met, we had just gone in and cut a hole in a door, so... Let's go see what's inside. Off like a herd of robin. Okay. Now, I'm not entirely sure where this is going to land in time on the channel. Things are going to change a bit. Wait a minute. We, we did that. I know we did that. I watched us do that heavy sigh we're doing it again well I guess we're gonna do it again and head back to the boat for air although as I recall there is an oxygen plant right inside or maybe I'm cutting somewhere no I, I don't think I'm cutting a different door there was just this stuff up here and there were two containers. This is really weird. But we still have the extra power cell. It's it's like it reset itself for some reason. That's curious. Whoa, hello. Um, yeah. So anyway, I was saying, I don't know where this is going to land in time or space on the channel. Something that I've been waiting for for a very long time is about to release, and I'm going to let it take the channel over. So we may have waited for a while for this, or I may have tried to squeeze it in. Hopefully I will have put up another video talking about my plans. Well, at least what I know of them, which isn't much so far. I just know I'm gonna let it take over. Alright, um... Oh, scanning things? This is alien containment. Convenient, although aren't we the aliens? So perhaps it is just a domicile for Robin. Green what? Turnian. Huzzah. Things got very exciting there for a second. Sure, let's scan the red feather fish. Thank you for being so patient, red feather fish. All right, I'm gonna zip out and get some more air from the sea truck. I know there are plants probably spread throughout the ship, but I really do feel better leaving them for necessity rather than convenience. Back out we go. I'm back in to the boat. I don't remember the boat's name, but... Um, okay, we should probably keep this out since it... Ooh, look at that. We can see Robin's shadow. That looks like a door we might be able to cut. Let's switch to four. Sealed door. Cutting. I kind of really wish... I mean, I know there is a... At least one more upgrade to Robin's air tank, but... Sometimes it's a little... More restrictive, I feel, than it should be. All this technology, and she can basically exist with, what, a little over two minutes air? And she dies right at zero. She doesn't just kind of hold her breath with that last bit. It's the absolute time. Two minutes and twelve seconds. It's Robin's lifespan in air. Okay. Uh, scanner back. Let's see what we got. We've got an air plant here. Is that anything? Don't know. Trying to move quickly. I apologize. I usually like to do things a little more slowly so that everybody can keep up. But then there's that whole dying of the air thing. Exterior grow bed. Cool. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's not get sidetracked just yet. Is there anything else in this room? 
and I do know the oxygen plants replenish themselves so I think what we are going to do is dash out to the truck one last time and then we're going to start using them as a necessity to go deeper. I dislike those creatures. You better swim away. What is that? Like, oh yeah, the truck moves. Probably just... Debris? Do I want to risk it with a psychedelic fish and the squid shark? Oh, you know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Just salvage. So that would just be titanium. Alright, let's come back to the ship. Stop getting ooh shiny about the debris. Okay, so there is this. Let's take a look at this. Let's bring the flare out here. What do we have here? Can I go through that? I cannot. Okay, that means we check... Oh, you're serious. Uh, that is a reactor rod. Okay, sure. That is a depleted reactor rod. I don't know if we need that. Uh, nuclear waste disposal. That's probably handy, considering we're carrying reactor rods. Uh, New blueprint synthesized. Anything else? Switching back to light. Oh, hello. Uh, come on, Robin. Cut like your life depends on it. Sixty percent. Eighty. Complete. Uh, what is this? Put that away. What? 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 Parallel processing unit fragment. Ah, we don't take it. We scan it. Now I just need to build the test module, then I can disable that satellite tower. Actually, no. What you really need to do right now is get back to an oxygen plant. And then back to the truck. We we depleted pretty far. But hey, we found our parallel processing unit and nuclear waste disposal and reactor rods. Presumably will come in handy at some point. Okay, uh, let's just eat this so we don't worry about being hungry. Quick drink. And then... Now, what else do we have here? There is up. Down, we've already been to. Where does up go? Up goes here. Switching. I swear something seemed to set this off, but... Uh, okay. There's an ox there are two oxygen plants here. That is very handy. There is something glittery here. A jukebox box disc. Subnautic stimulus. Good. I mean, not that it's relevant to us for certain reasons that are unfortunate, but... You know, if you're playing and not doing this, you can find that and probably enjoy it. Why did that go away? Ah, my flare went bye-bye. I don't suppose you give off light, do you? Nope, we're not going to do that. Okay. Um, what's up here? The way we came in. I used up both. I did not. Okay, um... <laughs> 
there's alien containment. I'm going to head back to the boat for a second. We might actually head back to the modules as well. I think it's time for me to finally admit that the lighting designer needs light. Oops. Bummer. Stand by for reintegration. Okay. Yeah, I thought that... What is that? Either the cat is doing something that I cannot see, or one of the critters of Subnautica has gotten in here with me. Um, no. Tools. Equipment? No. Tools. Flashlight is battery and glass, so we would need... Thank you, but not that. Um, no. All the quartz I have... Wait a minute. Did I build a flashlight? Never mind. No one tell checkers, he'll never know. Uh-huh. Funny thing is, I don't remember doing that, but... <laughs> that's nothing new. Okay. Lights on for, well, certainly not the indigenous life forms creatures. Or safety, but... There we go. Okay, so... All we have to do is path back to that other duct work, which was up and around. I have to keep an eye on that laser cutter. It looks like it's going to need a charge soon, too. Switching to flashlight. Um... Okay, ribbon plants, that's that's nice. Um, oxygen plant, that's nice too. Container has food and water, that's good. This container has more food and water. Even better, more food and water. Very, very good. I don't see anything overwhelmingly scannable. Ribbon plants. Lots and lots of ribbon plants. Oh, that was a turn I did not expect. I'm gonna take that. Uh, probably don't want to head down there. I am not so comfortable with our air supply. Um, yeah, I was gonna say, you should not be, unless someone's following me. Um, alright, let's switch to, is anything, hello? What do I get if I scan you? Just titanium? Yeah, okay. We're not too bad. Switching to light once more. There may have been more down that ductwork, but since we depleted the oxygen plants, let's nose back around here. Let's head back out to the boat. We're going to go forward along this large hallway. Uh, putting this away so we don't fry the battery. Speaking of batteries, let's see. We do have one fresh battery. Okay, punching back out. Laser cutter out. Swapping battery. Laser cutter away. Okay, we are going forward in this hall now. 
cut to access. Uh, reactor rod. Okay, I'm not going to grab any more of those until I know why. Switching to light. I mean, it could be something super important, but I don't imagine the wreck is going anywhere. There's a depleted rod. Oh, so we were just on the other side of this. Cut it to open. Synthetic fibers. Happy to take it. Okay, actually we needed synthetic fibers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Now we only need one of those. Spiral plant cuttings. Good for us. Okay. Gonna quickly head back to the boat for air. Flashlight away. Top off. Have a drink. And bounce. Okay. Switching to light. Power and eats up more. Why? Why do people in games always insist on flashlights that have like no battery life? Flashlights have had pretty decent battery life since like the 80s. In the 70s, not so much, but. By the 80s, they were getting pretty good. Mag lights and such. Now with LEDs, they can go a really long time, guys. And no, gameplay is not a good enough reason. Because it really doesn't do anything except, well, not be fun. That just goes outside, not gonna help us. Unless we need to escape quickly. What's here? What's there? Um, nothing overwhelmingly exciting. Hmm, air would be nice. Um, air would be really nice. Gonna leave this oxygen plant, go back to the boat. If we do less than 20 sec- or if we have roughly 20 seconds between boat and that plant. We'll take that plant so we can get deeper. Uh, flashlight away. Alright, I guess we're, we'll conserve our flashlight by just swimming to the best of our ability. Top off here. Slip through there. Now I want the light back. And that goes outside. We went down this hole. And through here. Scan worthy? No. Okay, light worthy. These are all the ribbon plants. There's a container. Battery handy. Some bunks. Outside, but that. So we've been through here. Yep, this is where we got the food and water. Same thing. So then... That was curious. Why did the fish just explode? Okay, we're not going through there. These are the bunks. I think I just confused myself and my direction. Not good. Battery. 
nice, but not not overwhelmingly helpful right now. Up. That goes out. This goes into the main hall. Going right for the boat. Flashlight away. Yep. Thank you. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. And out we go. And certainly away from that sound. Oh, we went that way. That way was nothing helpful. We went this way. And this way just goes into this little room with a couple of things, but... I feel like there's a lot going on in this boat. I feel like there's a lot going on outside. What is going on outside? Okay. No idea, but we're going to bring the boat closer. Okay, so let's dash through. Um, lights on. So that goes to... This just went to this little place. That went to the reactor control rods. This goes to the bridge. Something is very excited. Bridge has oxygen, which is good. Does the bridge have anything else? Taking from that one. sure why these stairs are here, but nobody asked me. And this led down to all the ribbon plants. I felt like there was another set of ducts that I saw. That's where we just came out, right? Hello, newt fish. These are beds that we have looked through. Looks like we've been through there as well. Okay. This goes up. That's the duct we just came through. What did I see? And where did I see it? Um, there's an oxygen plant right there. Um, there's another one right there. Oh, hello. Kind of you. Okay, we can't go through there. No ducts in the ceiling here. Where did this go? Back to... Alien containment. Okay, back out to the boat. I know I'm I'm kind of scouring this, but I I just have this feeling there's something I'm missing. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess we could call our journey to a close, and I could scour it on my own time, huh? 
but it just feels like can't get through there. Lights back out. still feel like there was another duct that I missed I saw in the ceiling other than this one that exits into a ceiling but we are coming up on time so maybe I will scour a bit more on my own and if I find something I will try and remember the path so that we can do it together when next we meet carefully yeah okay Let's put the flashlight away. The battery is almost dead. And we will hop back in the sea truck. And I will say thank you so much for joining Robin and myself and uh, the many myriad creatures of 4546B. We hope you found our journey entertaining and maybe even just a little bit informative. We would like to invite you to think of something you are truly grateful for, something which brings your heart joy, just as the sweet kiss of a fresh air brings Robin the fresh glow of life. Most of all, though, we would like to ask you to please, please take care.